Hello and welcome to our OSSLT video series. Today we're going to be talking about the news report. This is the second long writing task that you will have on the literacy test. It is worth 100 marks and combined with a series of paragraphs, it is worth half of the test. For the news report, you are asked to write an article that matches a given headline and photograph. So what do you do? Where do you begin? Let's go through it step by step. We're going to start with the rubric that is used to score the news report. It actually goes through two scoring rubrics just like the series of paragraphs, one for topic development and one for writing conventions. The topic development rubric is out of 60 marks and the writing convention rubric is out of 40 marks. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what these entail. In terms of writing conventions, they're not looking for a perfect piece of writing, but what they are looking for is that any errors are minor and they don't distract from what you are actually trying to say and that you can control the writing conventions in your work. Make sure to use past tense and formal writing rules and then go back and proofread for spelling and grammar errors. In addition, make sure to keep sentences short. They're not looking for anything fancy and keep your paragraph short as well, two to three sentences each. Under no circumstances should you use personal pronouns in this news report, okay? It's not a broadcast. So you want to avoid words like we or you because you shouldn't address your audience or yourself in this type of writing. In terms of topic development, let's take a look at the code 50 or 60 in the scoring rubric to see what's required for a successful uh, completion of this writing task. What they're looking for is that you have written an article that is related to the headline in the photo, um, and that you have provided details that are relevant and you've stayed on topic throughout. Make sure that you use witness quotes to um, answer the five WHs and that you have relevant and sufficient details. Make sure information is organized throughout and you've used short paragraphs. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to take a look at the headline and highlight any words that help us to focus on what will be relevant in this particular article. In our case, the headline is Town Sets Record for Biggest Ice Cream Sunday. So the keywords here are Town, Record, and Biggest Sunday. The next thing you want to do is take a look at the photo. You're going to divide the photo into quadrants and then start to brainstorm about the details that you see in each quadrant so that you will ensure your article matches both the headline and the photo in this way. And this is the time that you're going to get creative and start to make up all of the information that, are, that will add some um, interest to your story. Be sure to include details like names, places, dates, times, descriptions of what's going on in the um, photo. So in the top right hand corner we have a tent, we have a Dairy Queen mascot, we have the huge cake there that you can see. In the bottom right hand we see some Dairy Queen workers uh, with their uniform on and they seem pretty happy. And same thing with the bottom left hand corner and we're going to actually name this girl here maybe. She can be a witness. So her name could be Lena Smith and she's a participant who helped create the cake maybe. In the top left hand corner you see that the storefront is showing, maybe this is in the town square. You've got some dignitaries there and some people who are watching. Let's give our mayor a name, Mayor Varga. And then the Guinness World Record holder officiator there. We'll call him Mr. Ng. Okay, my name is Christina and my tip is to use the space provided to brainstorm your ideas. So like Christina said, step three is to brainstorm your ideas and you're going to do this in the rough notes section which is not scored by the markers. In our case we're going to start with the when, which could be yesterday or last Saturday, but don't go any further back than that. Um, then you're going to look at the what. So what happened? The world record was set for the biggest Sunday. Who was involved? The townspeople were involved. The Guinness Book of Records people were involved. And where was it? Well, we decided on Aurelia. So these are details you're going to have to make up for your article as well. These four will be the lead sentence of your article. The next thing you want to do is answer the whys and the hows. 40 people, 45 hours, gallons of vanilla ice cream to make a world record for the biggest Sunday. So these are details that will come out in your news article as you begin to write. There should be three witness quotes in your news report. And these should add a variety of perspectives to the story. This will ensure that you give relevant and sufficient information. Your witness quotes also help answer the how and the why parts of the article. We're going to start with a quote for our story from the mayor. 
who is going to talk about how great this is for the town and that the Dairy Queen will definitely stay in business. And this comes from an economic or tourism point of view. Your next quote is going to come from an average person who is maybe excited to taste the ice cream and is excited about the day. And we're going to make that from Lena Smith, our Sunday creator. And then our fourth quote is going to come from the Guinness World Records officiator, Mr. Ng, who is going to talk about how much ice cream was used for this event. Okay, and this sort of comes from a government official point of view. So here we have three different perspectives that answer some of the um, hows and the whys of the article, giving relevant factual information. Let's take one more look at conventions here um, and what you need to do in order to be successful in the news report. So students tend to want to use personal pronouns when they insert the quote. Instead of saying we spoke to the mayor, what you might do is change it up a bit. So put the quote first and then describe the person who said it. So there's your quote and you could write something like gosh to Mayor Varga. Another thing to be aware of when you're writing your news report is to keep it in past tense. So this is quite an accomplishment, says Mayor Varga, is incorrect, because it implies that it's still happening. What you need to write is said Mayor Varga, because that now puts it into past tense. Another area where students often struggle is with how to end the news report. So try to avoid the whole, if you have any information, please call us, because first of all, it uses a personal pronoun. Um, while it might be an all right way to end some news reports, it, it shouldn't be used um, always as a sort of standard because it just might not fit a, every particular uh, news story. What you might try to do is to end your news report with an additional fact, something that might answer any questions a reader might still have about the event. So for our particular news report that we just wrote, you could write something like the previous world record holder for Biggest Sunday was set in Akron, Ohio in 2011. So just to summarize, the way to be successful on the news report for the literacy test is to begin by highlighting the keywords in the headline. Then divide your photo into quadrants and start to brainstorm any uh, details there. Make sure to use the rough notes section to brainstorm additional information for the five WHs because studies do show that students who use the rough notes section are more successful. Um, make sure to use short paragraphs of two to three sentences and always stay in past tense. Have three witness quotes and a concluding sentence. So don't end your article with the quote. Always have an additional sentence and also indent all your paragraphs. Don't forget that the best way to be successful on the test, though, is to keep practicing these skills at home, online, or in the after-school classes. Good luck!